Hey guys, welcome to this special update on the crypto markets. They're having a really bad day today, and I think it's appropriate to take a look at some of the levels that traders are watching. Before we start though, it's always time to stress that trading financial markets unfortunately is risky, and there's a risk that we lose all of our invested money. For more on this, check out the risk disclosure statement here on tradecaptain.com. Okay, uh, let's begin, and this is Bitcoin, and Bitcoin is down with about 8.76% today. In fact, most of the top coins are down, and some coins like IOTA are down with 18 cents, uh, which uh, equates to about 15.3%. Uh, uh, so massive losses, or strong losses, not massive, but strong losses across the crypto world. I would say a, a massive loss would technically be maybe 20% or so. Now, this is the price of Bitcoin, and it's a daily chart. So as you might know, since the market traded below support here, I have been bearish. And the market moved down, and then I insisted that the trend was bearish below 69.24, and that around these levels the market would look to sell. Well, now we just had a decline today, and it's most likely possible to even reduce the stop loss to today's high. But my trend defining level is already close to that level, so I see no real reason to sort of force to lower this. And you know, we're just going lower and most likely the market is targeting the february low followed by something like this high here which is a september high from 2000 and uh, well actually september first high uh, from 2017. now it sort of depends on how you look at it as well but this is a triangle pattern with the low here second third low then two tops here and from that perspective uh, depending on how you measure but some people will take the whole base but if we just look at something like uh, the difference between this high and this low and assume that we'll have sort of similar uh, sort of breakdown here then from that breakout level which is here we should have a decline potentially all the way down here to about uh, 33,625 according to this pattern now if you're trading short term which I think it makes sense I mean I think it's fine to again sort of target this September 1st high uh, maybe all the way down to 4,300 and uh, all the sorry all the way down to 4,037 and who knows maybe even lower but I mean this is within reason I think that, that that's really reasonable uh, we'll see then if we market continues straight to the downside this is ethereum uh, ethereum as well I, I don't I didn't have like a strong view here but definitely bearish and the market, as you can see, rolled over here, as um, I've been suspecting. And the market is clearly bearish here. And I think it's fair now to reduce the trend defining level to this high, which is the uh, June 19th high. And that will be now my new trend defining level. Why? Well, because the price is creating lower and lower highs. And as long as we keep on creating these lower and lower highs, then make perfect sense for me at least to remain bearish. I suspect uh, that the market might find some support at lower levels, uh, maybe down here at 4,420. If not, maybe the April low at around uh, 360. Here is uh, Ripple. Ripple as well. I had some uh, expectations. I was actually hoping for this to bounce, uh, but it didn't. In an article published earlier this week here in the technical analysis section, uh, I in essence shared and I said that uh, on a break to the downside like this, this market could potentially hit the April low. The alternative is, is that if we take out the high, this market go up to 68.79. Um, the market decided to trade to the downside here, and it is possible to sell uh, on this break. As I said in the article, the risk would be about uh, 6.8 cents to potentially make about 4.8. So it's not an ideal risk reward ratio. What is that then? Well, you're not looking to make more money than you're actually risking. Unless, of course, you're very, very bearish and suspect that maybe the market is going to try to move all the way back down here to these levels down here, uh, which are pretty much levels here from November 28th. And then we touched this level as well on um, what is it, October 8th of last year. That's about 27 uh, cents or 28 cents per coin. And can we take out this level? yeah why not if you look at litecoin litecoin uh, which is something i've been bearish on took out its april low and it's definitely you know be moving to the downside and sort of the next target is november 30th low you have bitcoin now as well that is challenging so it's definitely below its april low 
and I, I you have this little level here which is spike two but I think technically we had we treat this as like sort of horizontal level as well we just moved to the downside so again that when the markets are looking at this and they look at ripple they look at ethereum and they, they'll they'll say well hey you know litecoin is down many other coins like moneros for example is down taking below its, its april low so why shouldn't a ripple as well trade lower here's bitcoin cash and here is this is a classic breakout it's very difficult to get it more classic like this this is when the price takes out a prior low here it technically did as well you see move below we could have sold here as well with maybe a stop here or a stop here um, and this is again yet another uh, just simple breakdown signal with uh, the market potentially targeting these levels down here and this market so these markets they will probably continue to remain under pressure until we have some very good reason to assume that uh, these markets can head to the upside uh, here's eos eos as well you know turn bearish here in fact you know i was i was long myself uh from this section here um what is this well, the beginning of the month but i got out at a good level uh, not that i made any profit on it in fact the total across all the positions i lost about five and a half percent or four and a half percent i think it was but really since before this big decline here literally i, I got out of everything uh, on uh, june 10 and since then i remained bearish and litecoin here as well you know it's under pressure there's no real reason for the market to bounce right now and this sort of continues across all these different markets as an example here's litecoin as well bearish you know, took out support down up down i think now it's fair to reduce the trend defining level to this high here which is the june 15th high and, and that's now going to be my trend defining level and this story just continues we're going to finish off by taking a look at monero which is something i've been bearish for quite some time and i even shorted here myself uh, but got out here as well because I didn't like that the market moved to the downside and then moved up a bit and many of the other markets looked like they were gonna ready to rally higher so that's why I got involved and going went on the long side here never bought it back I, I never got involved in the long side though and when the market moved to lower here across all the markets as I said in the beginning of June I literally got out of everything so crypto markets are bearish sort of the best opportunities really is to sell uh, in different setups um, we have some markets as I just mentioned I think Bitcoin has more to go and you know Ethereum wouldn't necessarily sell that but Ripple this is a breakout in the making not the best physical ratio unless of course you're really really bearish and think we can go continue to move to the downside for more updates like this and if you actually want to be up to date on Bitcoin and then you should uh, make sure you join the live training room Monday to Friday here at tradecaptain.com why because i produce technical analysis and to give you an idea since i i started trading these markets last year i'm still up in fact i even made money during this bear market i'm a trader that's been trading since 2006 and i started to analyze i didn't trade the markets but i analyzed the markets in 2017 and i quickly noticed that my technical analysis here works terrifically well because I was already a profitable trader trading other things and then start to pay attention here and I noticed that it worked really well and I did write some of this waves and to give you an idea Ripple uh, I bought it pretty much around here for this move to the upside I also bought Bitcoin cash when it was around a thousand dollars which is pretty much here I think I bought it and then I read, traded all the way up to the upside and then now, uh, in, uh, in April, I did get involved in some of these sections here as well. So I kept the money from pretty much uh, these sections. So this is Bitcoin Cash, actually. Let me show you Ripple. There you go. Uh, I kept my money from this section, and then I added more when I traded that section. I don't day trade uh, these markets because there's no need. Uh, it's enough to just wait be patient pick your opportunity and then buy when the market is stabilizing uh, i understand the technology i understand this purpose but i also understand 
uh, what's going on uh, with traders because I've been doing this since 2006 trading that is and, and right now sentiment is telling me that this is going down and, and as long as the market continues straight to the downside I do think maybe we can buy it at better levels which would be lower levels the alternative would be again to sell to make money on the decline the reason why I'm not personally selling this is because from a trader's perspective the situation here is not optimal for example you sell here you risk 13 percent if it goes down you make 10 so that's not a good deal uh, that's why I primarily like to buy these markets because when they rally they rally strongly and you get those risk to reward ratio multiples that you need all right thank you so much for watching my name is Alejandro Zambrano and I'm the uh, chief market analyst here at tradecaptain.com if you want to follow me then you're most welcome to do so uh, my twitter handle is alexfx00 so alexfx00 in this following way thanks for watching and don't forget to like the video thank you